Wow, you guys about to react to a new video. Tulsi Gabbard and Bill Maher had a crazy standoff about the Trump and Biden debate. I need you guys to stick along to the back end of the video to see what to say about it. But right now, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. About to get right to it. Me, uh, uh, when Mike Tyson used to knock guys out in 90 seconds. Like, that was like two okay. minutes into the debate. And I yeah. went, oh, this election is over. I mean, that was like a haymaker, right? I, look, I'm watching the guy. He is so fast on the, tr on the trigger. I watched him. He comes up with, well, he's pulled out of Afghanistan and a disastrous way. That's true. He didn't fire anybody. He didn't fire Jake Tapper or any of the generals. That's all true. Then he'll throw in, oh, by the way, illegal people can get some Medicare and Social Security. No, they can't. He just throws in the lies. He mixes up the lies with some truth. Yeah, oh, and then yeah. Obama, I'm sorry, Biden is not smart enough to keep up with him. He just can't right. keep up with him. Well, that's the, isn't that the whole point? Yeah. You need a guy to keep up with him. Oh, wow. Did you hear him just say Obama? Talk about a fruity and slip. That's Chris Matthew on the Bill Maher show with Tulsi Gabbard discussing Joe Biden's terrible debate performance. I don't want to show a lot of the tape from last night because it's too hard to look at. But, <laughs> but just show this one thing. We picked out one thing just for people who don't watch and they watch this show to catch yeah. up on the news. This is what the Republic is going to show from now until Election Day. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing uh, with everything we have to do with. See that uh, head? Look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. <laughs> you see the head, the way he turned that head? He wanted to, he knew the two shot would be up there. He wanted to have his head turning like, let's watch the guy show how crazy he is. He's, he's looking for it. Look, this is this election. You're blaming he's, that on Trump? No, and I'm watching his, his, his it, theatrical ability. He is playing this. Okay, but he didn't have to do anything. Trump has said, I'm going to make sure I get even with half this country that's probably going to vote against me. He's going to go after public officials. He's going after commentators. He's going after editorial writers. He's going to go after everybody. And, they, and they're basically at stake right now. So it's not going to be a free country. He is out there to remove people's rights. That's the real danger. And we don't know where it's going to end. We do not know. Nobody can sit here tonight or this November and say they know where Trump's going to stop. Or what, whatever he's going to do. Because he's crazy. But the difference, the difference is the erosion of, of free speech, uh, the, the targeting of political opponents has actually occurred under the Biden administration. Whereas when you go back and look under the Trump administration, we didn't see this kind of, a, I, I think it's important to look at what's actually happening. That this isn't my opinion versus your opinion and everyone else's opinion or some theory about what may possibly happen. When you look at the uh, weaponization of the Department of Justice, you talk about all the different cases that, that Trump is facing, but then you can also look at how uh, political opposition and others who disagree with this administration are also being targeted. Uh, you look at how we're facing more censorship of free speech now than ever before in my lifetime, whether it's directly or indirectly from this administration. Uh, you know, obviously, COVID was a huge example of this. There are many others that have yeah. come forward. Yeah, there is a lot of that. Uh, and you look at how they tried to remove Trump from over 32 ballots uh, in different states. Uh, these are things that, that should not and cannot be happening in a true democracy, in a democratic republic, and things that we should take note of as uh, the direction that we are headed in and this threat that we Wow, have. guys, I think the major takeaway here is Tosi Gabbard is not willing to be a political puppet. And Bill Maher, he needs to make his mind up. Whoever he has on as a guest, that's what side he chooses to pick. And if you guys pay real close attention to Chris Matthews' speech, you could tell he kind of resembles Biden. I think he has early stages of dementia. I don't understand how you can see that debate go down and you could still side with Biden. This just makes no sense. You know who should be leading our country. I need you guys to let me know what you think about this quick video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.